Hey guys, welcome back to A zero nine one one network. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about a common issue which most of the iPhone users face after they go through some hardware changes on their iPhone. So let's get started. So as I said earlier, in today's video, we are going to talk about a common issue which most of the iPhone users face after they go through a hardware change. So basically here I have my friend's iPhone, it's a iPhone 6. So he basically changed the display of this phone and right now his phone does not turn on. So now as you can see I am holding the power button and the power does not come on. So what would you usually think? We would usually think that it is a battery problem and the battery is gone or something else. But then that is not the root cause of it. The root cause of this is the software on this phone has crashed. So one of my friend over here has changed his phone's display and then his phone is not coming on. However, when I connect this phone to power, it just shows the Apple logo for a second or so and then it goes off. But the display remains on. You can make out that the display is on when you connect it to the charger. So basically the phone does not do anything, it just boot loops. So what happens is it shows the Apple logo and then it keeps on restarting again and again. So the fix to this thing is you need to connect your phone to iTunes and then reset the software. So let's head over to my laptop. Okay, so as you can see I am at my desk right now and what I need to do is I need to connect this iPhone to the PC and then reset the software. So to basically do this you need to have a lightning cable, your computer of course with uh, iTunes installed and your iPhone. So what you need to do is you need to go ahead and connect your iPhone to the PC. So as you can see right now my iPhone is connected and then it shows no sign of life. As you can see over here nothing is happening. So basically to make sure that this iPhone is detected onto iTunes you should go ahead and open up iTunes first. So now as you can see I am in iTunes so the phone is not detected as you can see over here if it would detect it would have shown over here. So basically for the phone to get detected in iTunes we need to go ahead and enter into DFU mode. So basically what DFU mode is, DFU mode is basically device firmware update mode uh, which means this mode allows us to upgrade the device firmware. Basically to get into DFU mode you need to go ahead and hold on the power and home button simultaneously and after 8 seconds release the power button and keep holding on to the home button. So let's go ahead and put this phone into DFU mode. So 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Detecting. Okay, so as you can see the iPhone has now been detected in DFU mode uh, into iTunes. So earlier as you saw the phone showed no signs of life but now the phone has been detected in iTunes. So basically right now it says iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used. So go ahead and click on OK. Click on restore iPhone. And then it would go ahead and contact your Apple servers and then download the operating system. So I'll just go ahead and click on next. I'll click on agree. So as you can see the download has now started and it should be done in a couple of hours. The net over here is quite slow otherwise I would have shown you guys that the phone is actually working. So as I said earlier the software just gets corrupted when you change your hardware and you just need to go ahead and enter your phone into DFU mode and then restore it via iTunes. So that is all for today guys. Thanks for watching A0911 network. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe for more and also hit the bell icon so that you are notified as soon as I upload or release a new video. Thank you.